connected. So I appreciate uh, your time, uh, Mr. Steele, and, uh, and, and, and all of your service to our community, both now and in the past, and quite frankly, in the future as a member of our audit committee. Hopefully, you'll come back to our audit committee. Um, but I want to say to the to to my colleagues, to the public, and this, to these uh, two new uh, potential candidates for to be our town manager, I, I'm hearing some things around the island that give me great concern. I hear about this concept of it's going to take five years to rebuild our island. I'm I hear that it's going to take five to seven years. I hear it's going to take five to ten years to rebuild our island. I think that's extremely dangerous uh, uh, messaging, and I don't think it's particularly clear uh, uh, what, what's actually going to happen in the near term. People right now are making decisions. We've got, we've got a lot of parents of school children here, but we've also got a lot of folks that, and who are also homeowners. We've got a lot of folks who are older who are making decisions about whether they're going to rebuild or whether they're going to sell and move along with their life. When we send the message to them that this town's not going to be rebuilt for five years, we're going to lose a lot of our really good citizens who have contributed so much to over the years. We're going to lose people who visit our island to other communities. There's a, this is a competitive market out there. And I think it's, I think uh, when we say, and, and of course we're going to have projects that are going to take years to complete. We always have projects, long-term projects. But I believe, truly believe, that this town will be will be functional. And when I say functional, I mean a functional paradise once again within one year. There will be projects, of course, that'll take longer and there'll be developments that'll take longer as they always have. But we will be a functional paradise within one year. This season's gonna be rough. We're not gonna have a season this year like we normally did. But the next season, next year, 2023, we will be a functional paradise once again. For people who have, 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 have or just have a sort of a, a laser view on their own situation, let me just tell you, uh, as a member of this body, and I'm sure my colleagues will agree, we're hearing things that maybe aren't in the public domain that should be. The hotels, the largest employers on our island, are not sitting on their hands. The Pink Shell, the Best Western, the Diamond Head, Lonnie Kai, they're not sitting on their hands. They have huge teams of people that are triaging their properties. They're going to be ready for the, not this season, but the following season. They're going to be ready and open for business. The condos on this island are going to be ready and open for business. This season's going to be a challenge, but a year from now, we're going to be ready. And we're going to have a fully functional season. The Councilor Allers, our mayor, was on the beach the other day. We've got contracts with the state to clean up the beach. We've got local folks helping to clean up the beach. I assume we're going to have some, some we're going to have hundreds of people scouring that beach as volunteers to clean up that beach. And that water's going to clean up. And in a year, that beach is going to be more beautiful. And the water's going to be more beautiful than, other, other, than ever. We've got businesses opening on this beach. We've got the Bayfront Bistro. We've got Wahoo Willies. We've got Yucatan. We've got food trucks, Cigar Hut, Tunic Skin, already open. We're not even two months into this thing yet. Publix is going to be open before the end of the year. CVS will be open soon. CVS has the largest pharmacy, a second largest pharmacy business in the state of Florida on our little island during season. Of course, they're going to be back, and they'll be back soon. You see other restaurants that are in the business, or significant repairs are being done. Snug Harbor, I hear, will be open very soon. Nervous Nelly's at work. The Whale's rebuilding. So many of the other restaurants are building. Other businesses are figuring out how they open quickly. I've been in conversations with the, the new ownership of Times Square, which is consolidating. They're already thinking of magnificent plans for Times Square. I talked to a hotel owner on the south end who's going to sell. But here's the encouraging thing about what he told me. He's been on this beach for many, many years, has a house on the beach as well. I, don't, I won't mention the hotel, but there's not a lot on the south end, so you can use your imagination. He said, Jim, I'm not selling to the highest bidder. I'm selling to a hotel chain that will, 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 will represent what we represented and even more uh, be the best fit for our island that will be a classy, fun, eclectic uh, uh, a fit for island, not just some a cookie cutter a design. Well, I want what's best for the island because that's my legacy. So this is what we're talking about. And let me just say, last but not least, is for the people who keep talking about five years, seven years, I wish they'd knock it off because Margaritaville will be open in 14 months. They'll have 250 some rooms. They'll have four brand new restaurants and a beautiful resort in 14 months. So I would just say to our Newtown uh, team, and forgive me for my filibuster here, 
that this is something that we, we need to have. A, a, it's morning. It will soon be morning again in Fort Myers Beach, as Ronald Reagan once said long ago. And I want to see an optimism out there. We, we were, we're, we're rightfully wearing these shirts about Fort Myers Beach resiliency. We're, we're rightfully wearing these sheets, uh, shirts about uh, Fort Myers Beach strong. Let's, let's, let's send that message because, quite honestly, that's what's happening on the ground. So I want people to be encouraged. I want people to understand that this is not a five-year plan. Yeah, we're going to have some unique situations that are going to be long-term projects. We've got them now. So let's be encouraged. Let's be positive, And let's ask these, this, these, these consultants who are coming in for, for six months to have that vision as well and, and share in the, in the, in the, in the hope that, that we're going to be up and running in a year or less. That's all I have to say. Sorry for, sorry for my comments. Yeah. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Is there any other discussion? I would just say, is that really related to the discussion of the agenda item?